tiger. The tiger is the largest living cat species and a member of the genus Panthera. It is most recognizable for its dark vertical stripes on orange fur with a white underside. An apex predator, it primarily preys on ungulates such as deer and wild boar. The tiger is pride of place as the national animal of India. The Royal Bengal Tiger is the pride of our nation and its decreasing population is a major concern for us. It is territorial and generally a solitary but social predator, requiring large contiguous areas of habitat, which support its requirements for prey and rearing of its offspring. Tiger cubs stay with their mother for about two years, then become independent and leave their mother's home range to establish their own. The tiger's range is fragmented, stretching from Siberian temperate forests to subtropical and tropical forests on the Indian subcontinent, Indochina and Sumatra. The tiger is listed to red list endangered in the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Around 3,900 tigers remain in the wild across the globe now, according to World Wildlife Fund WWF. Since the beginning of the 20th century, over 95% of the world's tiger population is lost. On July 29th is celebrated across the world as International Tiger Day. Since the tiger is an umbrella species, its conservation enables the conservation of their entire ecosystems. There are different species of tigers, Siberian tigers, Bengal tigers, Indochinese tigers, Malayan tigers and South China tigers. The Bengal tiger is found primarily in India with smaller populations in Bangladesh, Nepal, Bhutan, China, and Myanmar. It is the most numerous of all tiger subspecies with more than 2,500 left in the wild. Like human fingerprints, their stripe patterns are unique to each individual. Stripes range in color from light brown to black and are not symmetrical on both sides of the body. Do you have an any idea? Why tiger population was decreased in the world? Watch here. Tragedy periods about this tiger. There are a lot of reasons for the decrease in the number of tigers. In olden days, for exhibiting their period of kings, Jamindars, and officials used to hunt lions, tigers, elephants and other wild animals like as their fun game and they were also considered as a crown of their dignity, daring to hunting tigers. A massive tiger hunt organized by Maharaja of Elwar in 1926 for his British guests a dozen elephants and approximately 300 people involved. The start was made near the edge of the Gear Forest. Entering the jungle, a score or more of natives had to be secured to act as beaters. beaters and started for the jungle and adventure. There are few lions in India and the capture of one is a rare event. But crows had reported one having been seen in the vicinity a week before, so we had hopes of at least sighting him. Our sagacious elephants carefully picked their way through the tall weeds where footing was dangerous. They broke down trees and pushed away underbrush to make travel as easy as possible for their riders. The big beasts were now stretching out a long line, gradually forming a great circle four miles in diameter. Progress was slow because of the jungle grass, but at last, two striped monsters were sighted. Special instructions had been issued by the Raja that no tiger or lion be shot unless human life was endangered. The object of the hunt was to drive the big cat into a place where he might be trapped. 
Closer and closer we came to the worried beasts. In some places, the jungle grass was so tall that animals could sneak into cover unseen. Meanwhile, the crow beaters were shouting and using all sorts of noise-making devices as we neared the common center. One of the tigers threatened us. Human life was in danger. It might be necessary to shoot, but remembering the Rajah's command, the hunters held fire. Then came the maddened charging beast right at our cameraman. He was a big fellow. Species, Bali, Shaban and Caspian tigers, were extinct by the 1980s. Shikari, hunting for sport, was introduced in India by Mughals, who ruled the country for more than 300 years, 1526 to 1857. It was generally the sport of royal families and that used to be a highly organized and tiring affair, in which one outing could last even for 15 days. Despite this, Shikar did not do much damage to the wildlife because swords and arrows were the only weapons that were used to kill. Emperor Akbar is reported to have killed a tiger with a sword. In such situation animals stood a fair chance to survive. Besides, kings, emperors and potentates also guarded the animals jealously as royal game. Almost all the Mughal emperors were sensitive to the conservation of nature and wildlife in their own ways. Emperor Nirad bin Salim Jahangir, or simply Jahangir, son of Akbar, was special among all of them. He not only kept tigers in his menagerie, but also recorded their behavior in his memoirs as was his wand. He also used to keep detailed notes of other wildlife that he saw. With the coming of gunpowder and the steady, deadly improvement of guns, the tiger was in full retreat. Annihilation during British Raj, 1858-1947, period of British rule in India. Europeans, especially the British that came as traders soon became masters. Hunting was their favorite pastime, which soon became a prestigious sport. This is where the real decline of big cats started. The local Maharajas, who were always in search of an opportunity to please their white masters, played a special role by organizing shy cars and playing host to their British patrons. A British officer Captain A. Mundy wrote hunting experiences of tigers in 1833 in his book Pen and Pencil Sketches, being the journal of a tour of India. No one really knows how many tigers were there in the 19th century or what the rate of decline in their numbers was. In 1950 Jim Corbett had opined that there were no more than 18,000 tigers surviving in India. The late TPG made an intelligent guesstimate that there were 40,000 of them at the beginning of the 20th century. This figure has since been sanctified by monotonous repetition, but no one has yet done a detailed analysis of tiger population density, habitat cover and its shrinkage, tiger mortality rate and such like. There is yet another estimate or guesstimate of 30,000 tigers in 1939. This may well be true and if so, the number could not have been markedly different at the dawn of our independence in 1947 for the intervening years were taken up by World War II and the political thereafter. Among the then rulers, 
our king of Minsuru Wodyar Sri Krishna Raja Wodyar and the last king, Jayacham Raja Wodyar, were known patrons of tiger hunting. Jayacham Raja Wodyar is known to have sought to hunting, only on reports of a rogue elephant or a man-eating tiger, and later he gave up hunting and served as the chairman of Indian Wildlife Board. Until about 1964, gunshots rang out in and around Agraholi Pool National Park regularly as bounty hunters pursued the big cat. There was bounty on killing tigers from the 1800s during the reign of Kodagwa kings almost up to 1964. There used to be a villager called Chanapa who shot 26 tigers for such bounty from 1948 to 1964, just around his village on the edges of Nagraholi were called Dr. Else like a hell broke out on striped cats. To name a few, George Ewell, a hunter and a member of the Bengal Civil Service stopped counting after killing 400 tigers. In 1872 Gordon Cumming killed 73 tigers along the Narmla River. In Nepal, during the 11-day state visit in 1911 by King George V, 39 tigers were shot and between 1933-40, guests of the Nepalese Prime Minister dispatched another 433 tigers. General Wardrop shot seven in seven days in 1921. Montague Gerard accounted for 227 in central India and Hyderabad in 1903. William Rice shot 158 tigers in Rajasthan in four years in the mid-19th century. Forsyth killed 39 tigers in 11 days in the year 1911. Colonel Nightingale was responsible for killing more than 300 striped cats in Hyderabad region. In 1919 a hunt yielded 120 tigers, 27 leopards and 15 sloth bears. It is a matter of great regret that the last tiger around Mohenjadaro, the cradle of our civilization on the banks of the river Indus, was dispatched in 1906. Thus, snapped the natural living link with our 5,000 years of history. In 1938-39 season Lord Blenlithgow, former Viceroy of India, shot 120 tigers in 10 weeks in the Chit Valley of Nepal. Maharaja of Udaipur shot at least 1,000 tigers, the Maharaj Kumar of Vijayanagram over 325, Maharaja of Serguja around 1,100, Maharaja of Rewa 500, Maharaja of Gorapur 500, and so on, during the rule by the British Crown in India between 1858 and 1947, tiger hunting was regarded as a royal sport. The jungle beasts of India are ferocious, while the Indian people were practically unarmed and unwilling to kill most animals because of their religion. In the 19th century, tigers were plentiful virtually throughout the subcontinent in all the forested areas from the Himalayan foothills to Cape Comorin. Europeans, who came to India in 18th century with new technology, were the real plunderers of wildlife in the country had secured themselves to platforms in high trees. When the signal was given, the five-mile-wide circle of beaters started to converge toward our cameras. Every animal within the circle was driven toward us. The hunt was on. It was not a hunt to kill. The gunners were instructed to use their weapons only for the defense of themselves and cameramen. With this sort of noise, no wonder the animals on the move. Another of our stars. step we made our way through to our other cameras.
a real man killer. He had killed a native and was doomed to die. It is the custom of the jungle to spear any animal that has killed a hunter. What a rug this fellow made. But wanton killing was not the object of the expedition. They did it simply to survive. They came with new weaponry in the form of guns and explosives. Europeans, especially the British that came as traders soon became masters. Hunting was their favorite pastime, which soon became a prestigious sport. This is where the real decline of big cats started. The local Maharajas played a special role by organizing chikaris and playing host to their British patrons. Tiger hunting by George Curzon, first Marquis Curzon of Kedleston, and his wife in British India, 1903. Bored Britishers took to tiger hunting to get enthused about being in India. It is believed that in 1900 there were about 100,000 tigers or one lakh tigers in the world of which possibly as few as 3,890 individuals are surviving today in the wild. According to 2016 report of World Wildlife Fund, poachers are illegally hunting tigers in the forest for its body parts, which includes skin, nails, teeth, hair, flesh for making money with huge demand and market. This is the very miserable situation to tiger population, almost every part of a tiger has been used in folk of traditional medicine. Fat, nausea, dog bites, bleeding hemorrhoids, and scalp diseases. Brain, laziness and acne. Hair, centipede repellent. Flesh, nausea, malaria, stomach, and spleen weakness. Skin, mental illnesses eyeballs, epilepsy, malaria, nervousness, fevers in childhood, convulsion, testicles, tuberculosis, nos, epilepsy and convulsion in children, tail, skin diseases, teeth, rabies, asthma, penis sores, stomach, upset stomach, whiskers, toothaches, gallstones, weak, watering eyes, hand abscesses, blood, general weakness. Tigers are still being cruelly trapped and killed. Poaching is not only reasons for the decrease in the number of tigers. At present habitat loss is also one of the reason for decreasing tiger population. As the tiger's body has many uses, it has led to the decrease in their population. Each tiger has its own territory and reserves and they fight with one another. When their territory are occupied which happens rarely and sometimes, they come to man living places for hunt, then it is captured or killed by peoples or poachers. So, the government of India has undertaken a major project to protect the tigers. That is, Project Tiger. In 1971, tiger killing was banned by Supreme Court of India. The government of India launched a national scheme called Project Tiger at the Jim Corbett Park in Upper Kand on April 1, 1973 to protect them. Jim Corbett National Park was again renamed as Ramganga National Park as on October 7, 2021. Nine projects were started at that time in which Bandapur Tiger Reserve was the first tiger reserve of India. This Project Tiger is administered by the NTSCA, National Tigers Conservation Authority. It is managed by the Ministry of Environment, Forests, and Climate Change. The Project Tiger is aimed at the conservation of tigers in India and other wildlife, for which the area is designated as a reserve, without any threat to the tiger or other endangered wildlife and its habitats. The main purpose of the Project Tiger is to protect and enhance the Royal Bengal Tiger. Bengal Tigers are the only tigers known to thrive in a mangled habitat. This makes them the ultimate survivor. 
Our very own Bengal tigers rival the Siberian tigers in terms of size and weight. These big cats to walk on earth can range from 140 to 220 kilograms and to 7.5 to 10 feet in length. The largest Bengal tiger on record reportedly weighed 569 pounds, 258 kilograms, and stretched about 10 feet, 3 meters, long. Bengal tigers have the longest canine compared to any living cat relative measuring approximately 4 inches. With retractable claws that are designed perfectly for climbing. Now, India has emerged as one of the biggest and safest habitats for tigers in the world. Presently, to study the number of tigers in India, the government has divided India's geographical area into five zones. Namely, 1. Shivala Hills and Ganga Plains. 2. Central India and Eastern Ghats. 3. Western Ghats. 4. Northeast Hills and Brahmaputra Plains. Sundarban Forests. Interestingly, the world's black tiger population can be found in Similapal of Odisha only. The species of tigers are also known as the Melanistic Tiger. There are total number only 7 or 8 Melanistic Tigers left in the entire world and also India's first white tiger was captured in this region in 1951. years living tiger. Normally, tigers are alive 10 to 15 years. But very rarely, one tiger alive from 25 years. Yes, the oldest living tiger in captivity, that name is Bengali. This tiger was born on 31st of August, 1995. Who is 25 years and 319 days old and lives in Tiger Creek Animal Sanctuary, USA, in Tyler, Texas, USA, as verified on July 16, 2021. In 1998 to 2002, 146 tigers have died. In 2002 to 2006, around 105 tigers have died. In 2006 to 2010, around 180 tigers were died and in between 2010 to 2014, 69 tigers were reported to have died. 
the National Tiger Conservation Authority NTCA, which has reportedly maintained a public record of tiger deaths since 2012, has listed a total number of 126 tiger deaths in 2021. As per the NTCA, the maximum tiger deaths this year took place in Madhya Pradesh, 44, followed by 26 in Maharashtra and 14 in Karnataka. That marks an increase of just a little under 20% over the 106 tiger deaths recorded in 2020. In 2021, Madhya Pradesh led in tiger deaths, 2 and saw 42 fatalities, followed by Maharashtra, which counted 26 tiger deaths till December 29, 2021. Karnataka had reported 15 tigers are deaths. According to NTCA, 65 deaths were reported inside a tiger reserve with the remaining having occurred outside of sanctuary limits. Poaching has remained one of the major causes behind tiger deaths. For the three years from 2018 to 2020, poaching accounted for 57 of the 303 total tiger deaths reported. In 2006, the total number of tigers is 1,411, in 2010 to 1706, in 2014 to 2226 and 2018 to 2967 tigers are available in India. A picture of a tigress hugging a tree has won the top prize at the prestigious Wildlife Photographer of the Year 2020 awards. Celebrating International Tiger Day on July 29, 2019 the Bengaluru Banner Gather Biological Park in Karnataka has named a six-month-old tigress cub Hema to honor race sprinter Hema Das, who won laurels for the country by bagging five gold medals in a month. India's 2018 Tiger Census sets a new Guinness World Record for being the world's largest on-camera wildlife survey. The fourth edition of the census, in 2018 to 2019 was, one of the most comprehensive to date. The report named all India Tiger Estimation Report 2018. Although, there are no precise estimates of the tiger population in the world, their population is thought to have plummeted by over 95% since the turn of the 20th century. It is believed that 1900 there were about 100,000 tigers in the world of which possibly as few as 3,890 individuals are surviving today in the wild, according to 2016 report of World Wildlife Fund, WWF. It is my humble requesting to you people. When the tiger is come to your living places, please capture it and hand over to related forest officer without being injured and killing. Thank for watching. If you like this video, click like button, share with another and don't forget subscribe to my channel.